61A lecture number 25. Announcements. Midterm 2 is this Wednesday, starting at 7 p.m. As a result, we have an unusual schedule. Lab is about review. It's already posted, and it's completely optional, meaning that if you don't turn it in, you still get credit. It's a good idea to try it anyway, because it's full of review problems, which could help you study for the exam. We will also have labs. So come on in, work through the lab, and ask your questions in lab section this week. There will be no discussion section, because we will be grading your exam. There will be no office hours after 5 p.m. Wednesday, or on Thursday or Friday, except for some advising office hours. Today's lecture doesn't introduce any new content, and doesn't really extend any of the content you've been hearing about at all. Instead, it's a completely independent set of ideas, presented by somebody else. Alan Kay, a Turing Award winner, gave a video recorded set of two lectures back in the 1980s that I think are wonderful. Now these are old, and he's using examples that are even older, dating back to the 1960s. So how could this possibly be relevant to what you're doing today? Well, I think it's a wonderful description about how user interface design, programming languages, and system development are all tightly interrelated. You can't really solve one without the other two. And user interface design is really important. So this unique perspective about how user interface design is very much a problem of people thinking about programming languages and systems engineering is one that I hope you take away with you. But it's best illustrated through a set of examples, which is exactly what Alan presents. This Wednesday we won't have a lecture because we're giving you some time back to get ready for midterm two. And on Friday we won't have a lecture because we'll be grading your exams. But instead, Pamela and I will hold an unrecorded Ask Us Anything session on Zoom, the regular Zoom lecture. So you can ask us anything you want. There isn't any homework due this week. There aren't any projects released. All of that will start up again next Monday. So this week, aside from watching this wonderful video lecture that you're about to see, you don't have anything to do except for focus on that midterm. And I wish you the very best of luck on the midterm itself. Make sure you remember that it's just one exam out of three. It's not worth nearly as much as the final. It's a good way to check how you're doing, but it's probably not going to affect the course of your life very much at all. So relax, do your best, and make sure you get a good night's sleep beforehand. That's probably more valuable than just more studying.